This is a test of a new uh, in-car system. If the camera falls off the thing, well, then it kept falls off the thing. That's fine. Okay. Anyway, hope you're doing well. I'm doing okay. Uh, a little temporal reference for you. Leaves are starting to turn. Just a little bit. So, that's the only temporal reference you'll get from me, baby. Anyway. I, I did something a little unusual. I submitted one of my things about peace to uh, Urban Times which is a kind of an interesting online publication. I'm now halfway to being a trusted member of the community because I submitted one article and one article was accepted. Uh, you have to understand as a writer, I'm not used to my writing being accepted, but it was, and it's, it's about peace. And you can look me up on uh, Urban Times. And, uh, Piece and you'll find my article. It kind of codifies in a little bit more compact manner the think piece, choose piece thing. So, uh, take a look if you have a mind too. As per usual, we're about to head into war again. There's your other temporal reference. Now, let me say this about that. We have given over a billion dollars in aid to the refugees from Syria. We have given aid, food, medical supplies. We have. Refugees from Syria are in northern Iraq. They are in uh, Jordan. Uh, Turkey. And Lebanon. And uh, the fourth largest city in Jordan is the refugee city. Over 100,000 people in this desert trying to make a city out of nothing. Now, there's a lot of hogwash about sending cruise missiles into Syria. You're just going to kill more innocent people. And if you happen to hit one of these uh, devices that is loaded with sarin, you're just going to spread it around. I'm all for no more innocent people getting killed. Now this is a civil war in Syria so many factions you can't even see straight um, we had a civil war in the 1800s right here and in reading up on it a little bit and and looking into the Lincoln story uh, on uh, NP not NPR PBS a house divided Abraham and Mary Lincoln and reading some more on it. Uh, reading about Clara Barton, what she tried to do to lessen the blow for people left behind, people injured, wounded, displaced. just trying to see if there was a correlation. Uh, was Assad actually using a Civil War playbook from us? I don't know if that's the case. I don't know why you would go after your own people like that, but again, it's a civil war. He doesn't want to lose power. And a lot of people want him to. But why you would release Saren 
in the Damascus suburbs. I don't know. I guess I'll meet him in hell. And hopefully I can slap him around a bit there because can't do anything here. He's not going to listen to some old woman in the middle of America. <laughs> why, sh why would he? Why should he? But if I could say something to Assad, I'd say, what the fuck is your problem? You sent Saren into the suburbs? You know, I live in the suburbs too. I would be pissed if someone sent Saren into my summer. If I weren't dead. If I were dead, I wouldn't be pissed. I'd just be dead. You try and find correlation, you know. We are all related on this planet. I hate to tell you all, but... Even the DNA is bearing some of this out that really there is not that large a core group of people that we come from. Not that large. Many of us are related way back. My dad always used to talk about Attila the Hun. Now I'm wondering, was he just joking? Or was there some truth to it? Because you never know. Or Genghis Khan. But more Attila the Hun, I think. Anyway. Who knows what's going what was going on in the Caucasus Mountains around those times, huh? A lot of stuff was going around in the Caucasus Mountains. Which is where he's from. So I don't know. I don't have a good answer. I don't know if anyone does. We've already given, the states have given, over a billion dollars in aid, medical aid, food aid, to refugees. I think we should just continue doing that. Continue doing that. But that's a lot of money. But cruise missiles are even more money and innocent people being hurt and killed. And frankly, when you talk about the delivery systems of these chemical weapons, the primary delivery system of these weapons is Assad himself. I'm not saying that I want to go in there for regime change. That didn't go too well for us in Iraq, did it? No, it didn't. We may have changed it, but I don't see it as being any better. They recently had more killing in that country than they had had in three years, and it's like... But we're out of there, or semi out of there, except that for that uh, corporate headquarters for Halliburton that's in Basra. I think Halliburton you know, as part of their community activity, which they tout on their website. I think Halliburton should donate billions in aid to the Syrian refugees that are in northern Iraq and the Kurdish area. I think that would be a great thing for Halliburton to do. Give away aid to these refugees. Now, that would be something, wouldn't it? I know, I'm a dreamer. Uh, I'm not just a dreamer. I actually still believe with all my cynicism and with all my constantly being horrified, I still believe what Anne Frank wrote. Most people are good. Most people are good. I still believe it. And 
if that's the case, then I don't want cruise missiles sent into Syria. I just want us to help the refugees as much as we can. I think that's our place. Helping the refugees as much as we can. I think that's an accurate, uh, appropriate action. There is no appropriate action against chemical weapons. There isn't. You're staring into the heart of evil. What are you going to do with the heart of evil to make them learn their lesson? Really? I want Halliburton to uh, do a whole community thing for northern Iraq out of their corporate office in Basra and send a whole lot of aid uh, to the refugees in northern Iraq because, you know, they're in the same country. And, uh, yeah, I think Halliburton should spend a little dose of Joseph on some of those refugees. I'm not saying redemption is possible for them. <laughs> I'm just saying it would be a good thing to do. That's all I'm saying. And that's enough out of me. Be good to each other. Think peace, choose peace. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.